Each year at the blood service, we need to bring in around 100,000 new donors. And it's actually really a lot of people when you think about it, because what we're asking them to do is give up um, an hour or so of their time and come in and let us put a needle in them and take out their blood. A big challenge is getting new people to donate. They really like the idea of it, but only around 3% of people actually go on to do it. So what we have is this really big gap between intent and action. One of the big challenges for us is driving urgency around that for people, but without creating a panic. One of the big things we're doing is using personalisation to try and drive that urgency. So trying to create personalised ads, um, at the moment just using simple geo-targeting. We can traffic specific ads to specific places, um, but as we progress in our digital transformation journey, we're looking to have individual ads. So each of our 100 donor centres is set up in a DMP, and those ads can be tailored for each donor centre, really based on their supply needs, how many donations they need that week, that month, or flipping it around and using um, positive social norming to reinforce really good behaviour. So if a particular city has given lots of donations, um, we can thank them for that and, and use that approach as well. One of the uh, big challenges we face is fear. So people often make an appointment to donate uh, and around 50% of them don't actually turn up for that appointment. So uh, a simple thing we're trying to do, experimenting with digital marketing, is sending personalised emails to people where they'll actually see a photograph of the people working in the donor centre, the physical environment uh, in that donor centre where they're going. So it really, we're, we're hoping that that will reduce their anxiety a little bit and just make it a bit more familiar. But also, once you've established that connection, there's a bit less anonymity so potentially it's a bit harder for them to drop out as well so for us it really is finding that balance between the human connection and that and that human face but how we can use technology to augment that and, and add to it. As we look to the future at the Red Cross Blood Service, a big priority for us is really making the donor experience a lot more personalised. So for us, it's being able to take what we know about the donors uh, and really improve the way we're communicating with them, really thinking about how they want to be communicated with, what sort of information they want, by what channels, how often. So I think that for us is the future.